guys, Mommy Z here. I am just doing a, a quick video to show you where the safe house is and what you can find inside there. So far the graphics on Sniper Ghost Warrior 3 are looking pretty amazing. Uh, the game itself is also looking pretty cool. I know all of us have been waiting for a long time. And uh, yeah, okay, so here's my safe house. There's lots of pictures and uh, interesting things around here. So firstly, let's just show you this dock. This is kind of the place where you're going to choose all your missions. So I come back here to the safe house after I've done a mission and come and check it out and see what's next on the list. Weapons cache. If I open this box up, this is going to show me where my guns are and what I've got in my loadout. So quickly, my primary weapon is the XM2015. And if I use my left arrow key down, I can access the ammunition that I've um, created for it. And then if I go to my secondary weapon, I've got an AK-47. Again, if I use my left arrow key down, I've got a couple of bullets for that one. And you'll see there's something that's not available for me to access there. So I just have to wait, obviously, until I unlock something. Go to my little pistol. I'm um, using the M1984. Um, it's got a silencer available. Uh, it's pretty cool. A couple of bullets for that one too. My loadout comes standard with a knife. And there's some cool things here. We've got an adrenaline pack, some pills, and a med kit. In my gadget loadout, I've got some frag grenades. Uh, I've got a gas grenade uh, I've got a non-lethal blast radius so this tags the enemies within a radius and it's something that I purchased uh, there is some um, armor piercing grenade that like explodes on impact I haven't used that yet I just purchased that yesterday um, you can see I've got some light armor here uh, that again is something that you purchase so be sure when you go into your weapons cache to check out all the things that you can access and upgrade your stuff and keep things uh, fully up to speed. My little drone, I used that a few times yesterday in, in a mission. Um, and sometimes, yeah, it gets a little damaged, so you need to come back and check your weapons cache and just press the triangle button to uh, make everything good and strong again. So if I just click the square button to modify, you can see that I've got uh, a couple of skills here. One is luring. I've got a night vision skill. Something there that I haven't yet accessed. Or I can put in something, but I'm not sure what it is yet. Um, and obviously something else is locked on my drone. So, yeah. It's, it's pretty simple to figure things out. If I was going to change my primary weapon, I'm going to click X. And that'll bring up a menu where you can see you can actually purchase a different rifle. So I think the first few rifles we get in the game are free in terms of accessibility. But then you'll see up on the top right of my screen I've earned some in-game currency. And that's by doing missions, raiding bodies, collecting bits and pieces. So I've got a bit of a stash built up there. And this, if I want the Archer T80, it's going to cost me 9,220 in-game currency. Um, it's... It's, it's pretty nice, so I'll just toggle my right toggle and uh, give you a bit of a view of the gun. Looks pretty nice, actually, I like it. Um, I'm going to try stick to the XM2015 just so I can try to get used to it and maybe fully upgrade it. But it looks like there's a bunch of cool guns as I go down the list here. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to access them because they're all locked. But when it comes to the rifle on the top there, you'll see on the bottom right I wanted to modify that I click the square button and you'll see up on the top there what I've put on so obviously we want to aim for ma uh, damage fire rate stability recoil absorption we want to get those all to the highest point that we can possibly get them to right there's my uh, magazine size my silencer so if I click on the silencer I need to repair that silencer because yesterday I went into a battle and obviously it got damaged so I need to press a uh, triangle to repair are you going to want to repair this? Yes, I am. Okay, the bipod I got. Just get out of that one. Go to the bipod. So if I wanted to remove that, I could unequip it. 
but I do want to equip it. So I've got it back on there. Uh, then there's the camo. Okay, so obviously here I haven't accessed these things yet, so this is new for me right now. But I guess I've got a bunch of colors I can put on here. And obviously the nicer, the fancier. You're going to have to pay a couple of in-game coins for that shit. Okay, that one's locked. Leafy hummus. Uh, let's see. Deadpool, grass wave. What do you think of the grass wave? We'll go with the grass wave right now. It's free, so let's put it on. Okay, so I guess for now that's what I want to keep my rifle at. Um, the other thing to do is like NATO 12 times. That's the optics here. So if I click on that, you'll see um, as I'm going down and I'm unlocking stuff, I've been able to unlock the scope power. So I started with 8 power. I managed to unlock 10 power and now I'm down to 12 power so every time you come back to your safe house go to your weapons cache and check and see what upgrades you've got what things you've got going for you so that you can um, just apply those to your rifle or your machine gun or your pistol let's get out of there and what I've noticed is that if you see a little green flashing item like on the top left that says weapons cache there's something available there for me that I can see so I'm going to just click this uh, AK-47. That looks like I've... Silencer. Can I put a silencer? Okay, I can I can purchase this. This is something new that I acquired yesterday. So I'm going to buy this. Okay, here we go. Alrighty. Now I can't put anything else on here because it seems to be locked. So I'll just go to that. Um, I had the option to purchase the Bakelite mag yesterday, but it's 4,000, 4, so I think I'd rather save that 4,000 for something else, because, yeah, I'm not too worried about what it looks like right now. Uh, let's go back there. Let's just click on the pistol. Um, okay, so I can purchase the Garrett M9 uh, with in-game currency, but, yeah, I'm not going to. I think what I do need to do is head over to my light armor here. You'll see the bar is, like, on the the bar for light armor is like way below on the very left side there so I'm going to click on that and I'm going to need to repair it so let's repair it yes so in order for me to repair that light armor it cost me 180 in game currency uh, let's just get out of there let's go to drone I'm not sure if I have to repair this at all there's something I can put in there. Night vision I've got, luring I've got, everything else seems to be locked at this point in time. So yeah, always make sure that you come back to your workbench and um, check your weapons cache out and just upgrade what you need to upgrade. Workbench over here quickly. Let's go through this. Got myself a little vice here. So I'm kind of still working on how to figure this one out, but this is where I've come to create some ammunition. So I've got uh, a bunch of ammunitions over here. Uh, I've got 338 regulars. This is where you can come and like create your, your ammo. Um, and when you're in the game doing your missions, you're going to find stuff to pick up. So you're going to, on the lower left, you're going to pick up resources. Um, so make sure you rate all the bodies, because sometimes the guys give you things. And be sure to look out for all those little icons when you're doing your missions, because the little icons below um, are going to um, give you access to bettering your your ammunition and stuff. Um, okay, so I've got ammo. Let's go to gadgets. No, that was the wrong button. Oh shit! All right, let's do this again. Quick. Um, okay, I need to go L2 and R2 for gadgets. Okay, so for gadgets, I've got a couple of frags and bouncing Betty things that I purchased yesterday. Equipment, um, I've got some adrenaline, I've got pulls, I've got a med kick, kit, and everything shows me what I've got access to down the bottom there. So this is where you can come and create all the bits and pieces of things that you need. Um, make sure you make enough bullets. There's a med kit. Okay, one thing I haven't done after playing a couple of missions here 
and live streaming is I haven't come to bed. So I'm pretty sure this is an integral part of being a sniper, right? We all need to have some rest. So I would say that when you finish the mission, get yourself back to the bed, unlike me. Uh, but yeah, get yourself back to the bed and press X to sleep. So that, I guess, if you you know, going away for the day. Maybe those are going to accumulate and give you strength or build up character. I really don't know. So if I go back to weapon cache and just have a look. I can have a look at all my bits and pieces of things without going into each item by itself. Got a cool knife there. Alright, so I just woke myself up now. I don't think that was a long enough sleep. Sorry, dude. <laughs> she can be one of them. One of them. One of them. Okay, um, if you want to choose a mission, you're going to come to the laptop. You're going to press the square. Um, and you're going to see the missions that are in front of you there. So right now, I've done two birds. I've done grave diggers. And I've done block out. My next mission that I'm going to head off to do is called cut off. So if I click X, I'm going to head off to that mission. So I think the graphics in the game are awesome. I think the gameplay is awesome. There's um, once my game is frozen whilst I was live streaming. So of course I had it in my stream. But I think overall we're in for um, you know, a pretty good campaign player mode of the game. But I would certainly say to CI Games who made the game, be sure to have multiplayer not far down the track. Because that's why so many of us play this game. And all the other games we play. Um, multiplayer is a huge, huge aspect of gaming. So don't let us down. Please, don't let us down. We support you guys. Buy the games. Give us back something. Because yeah, we want to be with our friends playing games online. As well as obviously all the missions that you guys have set out for us. So I'm looking forward to continuing playing my missions. Um, yeah, I hope this little video has been helpful. And I'll catch you guys on the circuit. Take care.